Everybody. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome back to the US of A. God bless America. Just kidding. Um, we've been actually home for like a week now. You'll probably have just seen a little recap of what we've been up to in the last week. I mean, honestly, I uploaded daily vlogs when I got back. That was an idea. It definitely confirmed that I will not be doing like actual vlogmas this year. We'll talk about it at some later date, I'm sure. I'll do something, but definitely not like full on. But um, yeah, we're back, we're home. We had a lovely weekend. It was like a good mix of going out and doing stuff and then like resting and relaxing at home. So happy about that, happy to be back. It was a really good trip, but like you just know what it's like to want to get back in your own bed with your own stuff. But I just finished a workout, that's why I am sweating. And I saw Jason Marie on TikTok post a like cherry chocolate protein shake and it looked really good. So I wanna try it. Oh, and don't mind our blinds that are broken back there. That was definitely me with some, I guess, aggression. She hulked it. <laughs> she hulked it as Drew says. So I don't think her recipe calls for banana, but like I have to put banana in my smoothies cause that's like what makes it nice and creamy. Oh, by the way, I did get the Vitamix on uh, Prime Day, on Amazon Prime Day. I got the smaller one. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I haven't done enough things with it, but for making smoothies, I think I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, so I'm doing a banana. She did spinach. I have these, like, I had a whole pound of spinach and I ground it up, blended it up and like made it into these little ice cubes. Some of you were like, oh, you should just freeze the spinach. I've done that for like a decade and I just don't like the way it turns out. It doesn't like blend fully. So it works better when it's in these little things. So I'm gonna do like two of those. And then you add frozen cherries, which like, I don't even know if I've ever had frozen cherries before. Hi. I got these at Trader Joe's this weekend, so I don't really know how many to do. Maybe like that many? It's like a lot of smoothie, but we'll see. Then you're gonna add your chocolate protein powder. My favorite at the moment, now keep in mind this is my favorite, so if you buy it and you don't like it, you know, it's my favorite. It's your opinion! It's my opinion! That's my opinion! This is the Coast uh, chocolate protein powder. Drew says he doesn't like this one because he said he can taste like artificial sweetener. I can't really, it doesn't also bother me. Like I love Diet Coke. So. I like that brand. I, I just get the unsweetened yeah. version. Yeah, the unflavored. I don't like Yeah, he doesn't like the chocolate one. So I'm gonna do our two scoops of chocolate protein powder. Obviously this would be prettier if you didn't add the spinach, but I am anemic. And even though my body doesn't absorb iron because of my SIBO, I still try to eat with iron. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of almond milk to cover this up and we're gonna Blend it. All right, cheers, let's give it a taste. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really taste the cherries at all. That was anticlimactic. Oh, maybe a little bit. Honestly, it's really good. I think I would do more cherries next time. And maybe I will try it like truly without the banana because I feel like the banana is like a very overpowering flavor. I just love like the texture it gives a smoothie. But honestly, it's really good. Like I really like it. Um, mostly I just taste the protein powder, but I think I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, with just more cherries and no banana. Mm -hmm. All right, I am out of the shower and I just filmed this clip and like, hated it. I hated it so much. I feel like I just 
word vomited and like it just wasn't cohesive it was so unnecessary like everything i was saying was so pointless so we're gonna try this again so i'm out of the shower i did a little grow with joe workout video this morning i did one that's called like working out after a long break or something like that because i had been doing walks like pretty much every single day but i don't feel like it was doing much for like my endurance like i'm trying to build up my endurance and like get back into doing things like cycling classes and all that kind of stuff so that was really really nice it felt good it was only like a quick 20 minute workout so i enjoyed that a lot and now i'm just getting ready i have a pretty easy day honestly um i have some filming to do i have to do a like branded video and then some instagram content along with that so that It'll take a few hours. It's 9.45 now. I have to leave here at like 12.45. So I have like three hours. Because at 1.30, I have an appointment at the like women's health center that I go to or the, what is it called? The OBGYN's office. So I have a follow-up appointment. Well, sort of. It's kind of like a, um, they call it like an irregular bleeding appointment. If you didn't know, I have really severe, painful, heavy periods. And it's like gotten to the point where it debilitates me um, every single month. Like I have to plan travel accordingly. I have to basically overdose on Tylenol and Advil, like alternating them. It's just really unpleasant. And it's been this way, honestly, for like a little over 10 years, but my periods have been pretty bad like since I was probably 16. Cause I started pretty early in life. I was about, I think 12 years old when I started, but it didn't really like, it wasn't like consistent until I was probably like 15 or 16. And um, yeah, it just really, really sucks. And I'm on it right now. So that's why I'm very like low energy. I'm anemic on top of it. There's just been a lot this year with like health stuff. Exactly. I got diagnosed with SIBO, anemia. Like I'm just kind of my ear, I'm just kind of like a hot mess. But I'm not going to stop trying to seek care for myself because it is what I deserve. It is like the ultimate gift I can give myself is to, you know, try everything that I possibly can to feel better. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I have about three hours to get this filming done. I hope that I, <laughs> I hope that I have enough time. I'm just sitting here dilly dallying, but it's okay. We'll get it done. We always do in the end. It always works out. Um, I got my nails done last, what is it, like Friday? Today is Monday, by the way. And I decided to go for just like short nails again. I just, I don't think I'm feeling the long nails that much anymore. And it's so funny because everyone that I'm seeing now on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff is also doing short red nails. And I didn't even realize that it's like a trend right now. So rocking the natural nails, it's just gel polish and it just feels so much better. I feel like I can like, I don't know, I can scratch like itches on my body more because with the hard gel and like gel X and stuff, it's just like your nails are more dull. So I feel like I can like scratch myself better. I feel like I can, you know, pick things up off the ground better. I can pick my nose if I want to, you know what I mean? I'm happy about that. And I'm just happy to be back. We have been like so busy. I feel like we hit the ground running as soon as we came back. I'm using these little Kiss um, like temporary lashes. They're just so much fun to put on. I love them. It feels really good to be home. I was concerned like, oh, are we going to be devastated when we leave the UK? Are we going to be like, oh no, here comes like an existential crisis. We want to live here, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, no, it felt so good to come home and just like, I don't know, be back with our friends, go to our local farmer's market, like go to Trader Joe's, all the things, be in air conditioning, all that kind of stuff. It really felt great. So now begins like the craziest season of the year, I would argue like the holidays are about to be insane like it's about to be nuts anyway feels good to be back i'm gonna finish doing this because i can't do this and talk at the same time it's very difficult and then we will film our content and catch up in a little bit All right, it is now 12.09 and I just finished taking a bunch of photos in like the alley of some random street. Um, I did my best. So here is what I came up with. I had my little Bluetooth remote. Sometimes you just have to do it on your own, you know? So I did my best. We'll find out because um, I have to do like an Instagram actual like in feed photo and then i filmed the stories already just filmed the video it went really well it was really fun but i'm feeling accomplished i got everything done in the time that i wanted to i got my workout in this morning i'm feeling pretty good i'm feeling much better than i did <laughs> when i first started this vlog i was like so tired and lethargic so anyways i'm gonna I'm, okay i'm gonna do some work for the next few minutes maybe make a coffee 
import all this footage and then we will head out. All right, just finished my little snack and got dressed and now I'm gonna head out the door. I decided to get dressed because I've been trying to like actually wear clothes when I go out places instead of just like athletic wear. So I decided to go with this. These are a pair of jorts that I just thrifted when I went to the Goodwill bins last week with Alexa and Karina and I think these are so cute and it's like a perfect day for it. So I would prefer this with like some boots or something but I just want to be comfy. So I have my sambas on, I have my jorts and then I have this really cute sort of like checkered, I don't even know what this material is. It's very stretchy, very, very stretchy. Um, This like little cardigan thingy from Fine me now the label i got it from their sample sale and then i just have like a black tube top underneath and we're gonna head out and you know go talk about menstrual things so let's do it Okay, so that was pretty easy. Um, basically, I chatted with someone else more specifically about my painful periods and my flow and all that kind of stuff and answered some questions and did get more blood drawn, which was like, ugh, I, listen, I get it. Last time I got my blood drawn, I guess that was more just for my annual exam purposes. It wasn't for further diagnostic testing like PCOS, labs, things like that. Um, so that's what I just did. So I did that again and it just sucks. Like the older I get, the more I hate blood getting drawn, but it's okay. I just feel like really like <sighs> like nervous and I forget to breathe and stuff. I stopped and got myself a little decaf iced latte because why not? It's okay. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's definitely not the worst. Basically, she said, like before I could even finish what I was saying, she was like, it sounds like you have endometriosis, which it's so funny because the last time I was here, someone was like, have you ever been tested for PCOS? If I have both, I'm not gonna know what to do with myself, but um, I could have neither. Like it's very, very, very possible that I just have bad periods. So um, the only reason I'm saying this is because I kind of think that it would be helpful to people who are watching. I don't really love going into super detail about like all of my health and like personal life and stuff, but with this, I really do feel like it'll help people. So basically next steps are, I have next week a transvaginal ultrasound scheduled cause that'll look for signs of endometriosis, um, fibroids, things like that. So that's next Monday. Um, and then I have the labs that I'll be waiting on. And then I've also been referred to like a specialist, um, like a specific women's health specialist, which is at Cedar sinai which is great because that's where I go for like my ENT and my gastro doctor and all that kind of stuff. So it'll all kind of be in one place. Um, so that's good. So yeah, basically it's just a little bit more waiting and seeing what the results of these tests come back as, and I'll keep you posted as that goes on. The girl who um, drew my blood complimented my nail. She was like, that is the most gorgeous nail color. And I was like, thank you so much. Apparently short red nails are the thing right now. And she was like, I just got short red nails. And then she like showed me under her glove. So that was funny. Anywho, I am going to sip on my coffee, head home. We'll see what we get up to for the rest of the night. I have some things from our garden that I want to make into maybe like a salsa. So we'll see what happens there. But in the meantime, I am much happier with the results of those last two appointments than any doctor's appointment maybe I've ever had in my entire life. So cheers to that. Fingers crossed I will get some answers eventually. I'm going home. I'm tired. That was my big outing of the day. <laughs> cheers. All right, we are home and I really want a snack. It's a very weird time of day. It's like three o'clock, but I have been very curious about this for a while. And so I want to make myself a little snack. So we're not going to eat dinner till probably like six or so and we had some things from our garden recently that are the basically the last harvest of the season so i think we're gonna like pull up our garden and then replant some like more winter seasonal things um but in the meantime we do have two little jalapenos and one pepper i don't think this word is a probes, so we'll call it a romani pepper and then we have one final teeny tiny little tomato of the season. We probably had like 10 or so of these. We had a very bad caterpillar infestation. So that really sucked. And then I'm just gonna use these Trader Joe's Campari tomatoes because I wanna make some salsa. That just sounds really good. That was our, that was our thought when we got these peppers to plant and stuff. So I pulled up a recipe 
recipe, I have some onion, some garlic, some lime. We did get some cilantro at the farmer's market yesterday. I am not a cilantro girly, but I feel like a little bit of it is necessary in salsa. I will use the blender again today because I like more of like a roasted kind of salsa. So I'm going, basically I'm gonna blister all of these veggies. So the peppers, the tomatoes, the onion, the garlic. I'm gonna broil it on high according to this recipe. I mean, I probably could do it over the flame, but I'm not doing that. And then once those are all broiled up, then you throw everything in a blender and put some cilantro and lime and all that kind of stuff in it and you're good to go. So let's do it first. I am going to wash all of the veggies. I'll spray a little oil on my tray. I lined it with foil as well. Just, I don't know. That's just what I do. I feel like you all will be happy to know that I am actually following this recipe. I am not just winging it. Although with cooking, I don't feel like you have to follow as much of a recipe, but I fully understand that I also do that with baking and that, that sets people on edge, Drew included. First we're gonna do this onion. I feel like with the amount of tomatoes we have, I'm just gonna do half of an onion because we don't wanna do too much. Ever since having COVID in 2021, onions are just not the same to me. It's okay. We'll do half an onion. We're gonna do these peppers. I need to be very careful. Yeah, it smells spicy. It sure does. We're gonna do two little jalapenos. And then a little baby tomato. Look at how cute this is. I'm obsessed. I guess this knife needs to be sharpened. There we go. Got our little baby tomato. And then we'll do the regular ones as well. sure how many cloves of garlic to do because this recipe is massive it calls for like two and a half pounds of tomatoes and i have like one and i think it's like five or six cloves of garlic so i might do like three we'll do that we'll do three here's all of our beautiful things so we'll keep an eye on it for six to eight minutes i think it said and maybe like flip it halfway through we'll see what happens i'm gonna clean up in the meantime because i do not want to get jalapeno juice in my eye <laughs> All right, so we're getting organized over here. We have our little trivets, is that what they're called? To rest the pan on. We have our little, what's that called, oven mitt. We have our station over here that has the cilantro and lime. The cilantro is gonna get blended with it. We have salt and pepper. We have the Vitamix washed and ready to go. We have our bowl to put it in. Also, please don't come for me because I know this won't be authentic salsa, but it's what we had. So it's not really doing anything. Our oven really isn't great. And like the broiler is not, broiling i don't think i'm not seeing any i'm seeing some wilting happening but no blistering so to be determined on that but i will update you when there is one okay our broiler sucks so we didn't get much of a char but it's mostly like just baking it so we're gonna do our best tomatoes are a bit juicier than i anticipated but that's okay <laughs> maybe i'll add the juices as well <laughs> why not Okay, then we're gonna put in our lime juice, a whole lime. Oh, I can't even see that. Hee <laughs> hee. We're gonna use some salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna take like the top part off of this cilantro, like this bunch. I can't smell it, <laughs> or I will gag. Okay, let's blend and see what happens. Okay, here's what we're working with. It does look like salsa. Oh, it's even more than I thought. Okay, let's give it a taste test. It's kind of hot, but I think that's fine. This is made a lot more than I thought it would. I'm nervous. Here I go. Cheers. Okay, so it's really spicy. It's very cilantro heavy. It being warm is kind of throwing me off as well. <laughs> but like, I'm still eating it. I would like the taste. It kind of just tastes like cilantro. It smells like cilantro. Mmm. <laughs> warm salsa. But like, I, I guess like it. it could be worse. Okay, sure, I would it. say like it's, I get like a pico, but not chunky, you know? Hmm. I'd eat it for dinner. Here's our dinner right here. 
Girl dinner. Hello, this is me from the future, 24 hours later, scarfing this down. And um, it is actually delicious. I'll be the judge of that. So I'm actually impressed. Like, it was 100% that it was warm. It's really good. If there's one thing Drew is gonna be, it's honest, so. <laughs> it's good. Way to go. You did this. I did it. So just wanted to insert this because yesterday it was like, but this is actually really good. I would put less cilantro next time though. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I am out on a little walk this morning. I parked my car kind of far away from where I'm going so that I can get some steps in because it is such a beautiful day outside right now. And I am headed to my first ever sample sale. I'm gonna go to a Reformation sample sale. I think maybe if it's good and if I you know, get enough clips and stuff, I will do like a main channel video on it. But otherwise, um, we're just gonna go check it out. We're like a block away. We're gonna find out what this is all about. Never been to a sample sale before. So we'll find out together. I got my Kindle ready. I got my uh, 1989 Taylor's version in my ears. And we're ready to do this. Oh my god, I was bending down to get these bags to show you because I'm home from the estate sale and my legs are so sore from my workout yesterday, but it was a success. I did end up filming a video for my main channel, so I'll save it for that. And for the rest of the day today, I'm pretty much gonna, I mean, I'm gonna film this haul and try on all this stuff and then I am going to just hunker down and do computer work. I have so much editing to do. I will probably change into pajamas and just be right there on the couch for the rest of the day doing so much computer work and that's probably gonna be the end of this vlog. I did wanna show you, I forgot because I was like in a rush this morning, my cute little outfit that I'm wearing today. How many outfits of the day can I fit into one vlog? Um, but this top is actually Drew's. I think it's from Abercrombie or something like that. I decided to wear it for myself this morning. It's really cute and I just have like a white tee underneath it because I, you know, was changing in and out of stuff. I have my old navy activewear skirt that kind of looks like a normal skirt, but it's athletic, but it works. And then I have my go-to loafers that I wear every single day. I love them so much. And then I have these cute little cowboy boot earrings on, you know, because she's a little bit Tennessee, a little bit Arizona. And yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for the rest of this vlog, I think. I got my prescription while I was gone for my ibuprofen, like 800 milligrams or something like that. So so that'll be really nice for my next period because I will hopefully feel a little bit more, I don't know, like comforted um, because that's just the biggest thing is that I just have so, 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 so much pain. So that's good. And I just feel really good about where things are going. I feel like, okay, people are listening. I was telling Drew this on the phone yesterday, like on my way home from the appointment. I feel like people are listening. I feel like things are being done. And like, even if I don't have either PCOS or endometriosis, at least I can know. And it's not this big question looming over my head for the last like 10 or so years. So that'll be really good to just know either way. But yeah, don't stop trying to advocate for yourself and seeking care because you deserve it. I know it's really difficult, especially in the American healthcare system, kind of a nightmare. But yeah, I just feel really good overall. And it feels like a Friday now for some reason. I don't know why, usually maybe because I go like thrifting and do things on Fridays. So I just filmed like a fun little shopping video. And so maybe that's why it feels like it, but I don't know. I am sweating profusely. I need to drink some water and just rest, film this, and then get on with the rest of my editing. But thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon. I just burped in the next vlog. <laughs> Bye. Why am I like this?